on a little blue shelf. They all belong to Timothy. He chose them himself. They have a lot of fun playing everywhere. So let's get to know them and we'll start with the bear. He's called Gumpa. He likes to snooze in the sun and he is little mutt. He's always doing it wrong. This is Woeful the monkey. He looks quite sad, but he's never ever grumpy. Stripey the zebra, whose wool is very lumpy, and who's this lying on the ground? Her name's Get Up, she's always falling down. Stripey's her friend, but so is everyone else. They're Timothy's special friends on the animal shelf. One afternoon, Timothy's special animals were restless. Timothy had been reading for what seemed to them like forever. Timothy, what are you reading? It's great. It's all about explorers and tracking people and laying trails. What are explorers? Uh, and tracking people. And laying trails? Explorers go to places no one else has been to and they leave clues. You know, signs so other people can follow them. Would you like to be explorers and follow a trail of clues? Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Oh, good. That means I can practice laying a trail. Yes, it's better than watching you read a book. Timothy went outside and laid a trail of clues while his excited animals waited impatiently. Timothy's in the garden. Don't look woeful, that's cheating. Timothy left signs made from twigs or twisted clumps of grass, pebbles or broken branches. They were the clues for the animals to follow. Now listen carefully. Timothy says we'll know we've reached the end of the trail because we'll be able to tell the time. I want to follow the trail first. No, 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 no. I'll go first. Can I go first? Why should you go first? In case I get lost. Then everyone else can find me. Oh, stop arguing, everyone. We'll take it in turns. Woeful, you go first. <laughs> I'm on my way. Ah, an arrow. Straight on. <laughs> Simple. Get Up was following the clues almost as quickly as Woeful. And Stripey wasn't far behind. Back at the house, Little Mutt had just left and Gumper was keen to get started. Out in the garden, Little Mutt was having trouble. Is that a sign? Did Timothy leave those twigs to look like an arrow? Or did they just fall off a tree and end up looking like an arrow? Oh, dear. Following a trail is very difficult. Hello, Get Up. Oh, can't you find the next clue? Oh, yes. <laughs> there it is. An arrow made out of acorns. I'm having a rest. Let's follow the trail together. Thanks, Stripey. I wonder how the others are getting on. Oh, if Timothy did leave this arrow, then I must go straight along the path. But I was going straight along the path anyway. Oh, dear. What are you waiting for, Little Mutt? You found the first clue. Oh, yeah, but are you sure that is a clue? Of course. It's an arrow. Come on, we'll soon catch up with the others. <laughs> I'm really good at following trails. I must be a great explorer. Ah, ah. Now these pebbles are pointing straight back towards Timothy's garden. That means I'll have followed the clues round in a full circle. So the end of the trail must be in the garden. Do keep up, Little Mutt. But isn't it time we saw another clue? If Timothy wanted us to find a clue here, he'd have left one for us to find, wouldn't he? Yes, but... Look around. Can you see a clue? Any arrows? Any broken twigs? Any tied-up lumps of grass? No, Gumper. I can't see anything like that. No. So, that means we've got to carry on the way we're going. Understand? Yes, but... Come on. What are you looking at, Stripey? Pebbles. They point towards Timothy's garden. I think we're near the end of the trail. Oh, I wonder what the last clue means. You'll be able to tell the time. 
The sundial. You'll be able to tell the time. <laughs> the winner. Woohoo! The great explorer. Oh, the others will be ages yet. Hello, woeful. Oh. How did you get here so quickly? The sundial. So that was the last clue. Uh, we must be miles ahead of the last two. Let's tell Timothy. We should wait for a little mutt and gumper. Oh, all right then. Gumper! Are you sure there hasn't been another clue? If there'd been another clue, we'd have seen another clue. But we're walking to the village. Well, I expect Timothy wants us to walk to the village. <laughs> Hurry up. I'm worried about Gumper and Little Mutt. I hope they haven't got lost. I was thinking there might be prizes for the best explorers. Well, there might be. Brilliant. When everyone's safely back. Oh. Not till then. What about Little Mutt and Gumper? What if they are lost? Let's go and look for them. They could be anywhere. Not if they're still following the trail. So if we follow the trail again, we should find them. We'll be a rescue party. Ha <laughs> look, Little Mutt. Miss Tomkins' sweet shop. When is there going to be another clue, Gumper? When we need one. Listen. Miss Tomkins' clock. Remember Timothy's last clue? You'll be able to tell the time. This is the end of the trail. Yeah, but, but, but where are the others? Ah, <laughs> we've beaten them. We finished the trail first. We're the best explorers, little mutt. Oh, can we stop now? We'll sit and wait till the others turn up. I'm sure the trail came this way. It did. There was a clue. Uh, just here. The clue was an arrow made out of acorns. Well, it's gone now. Someone must have taken it before Little Mutt and Gumper came past. So they missed it. And now they're lost. Who would have taken our clue? Hello, Squirrel. I mean, who would want a pile of acorns? Um, wait a minute. Squirrel! Squirrel. Oh, we're sorry, Squirrel. We didn't mean to make you jump. Timothy left some acorns just here. Uh, did you see them? Oh, I see. You've stored them for winter. Oh, honestly. Squirrels. Have you seen Gumper and Little Mutt? Thank you. This way. Hang on, what did he say? I don't speak, Squirrel. From his tree, he saw Little Mutt and Gumper walking along the road. Then what are we waiting for? The others are taking a long time. Are you sure we've come to the right place, Gumper? <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> I think I am. Gumper! Oh, little Mutt! We thought you were lost. We were. We weren't. Hello, you lot. Hello, Hello Timothy. Timothy. You're all very clever. How did you know I'd be at Miss Tompkins' sweet shop? You see, little Mutt, we weren't lost. You were. We weren't. This is the end of the trail. But it isn't. That's what's so amazing. The trail finished at the sundial. You'll be able to tell the time, get it? But how did you all get to the sweet shop? We followed your clues. But Squirrel had moved one of the clues. An arrow. Because it was made out of acorns. So you just went straight on. And that's how you ended up at the sweet shop. Oh, I get it. The rest of you followed Little Mutt and Gumper. Weren't we lucky, Gumper? No, no. We were very clever. You weren't. No more arguing. Just be happy you're all here because I've bought prizes for everyone. For the best explorers in the world. Hooray! Oh, brilliant! Timothy's special animals soon forgot all about clues and trails. They were too busy enjoying their prizes. Special friends, special friends on the island. 